Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. Today, we'll be discussing American football. Yeah, American football. The Jamaica and its senior football teams are getting ready to head to Mexico on August 16 for the Cancun Bowl. But before that, the boys' under-18 team will be in the Dominican Republic on July 23rd for a practice match series. Well, coach and co-founder for the National Under-18 Youth Program, Roger Salmon, joins us in studio along with national senior player, Kim Manny Lindo. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Happy to have you in studio. Good afternoon. Thank yeah. you very much for having us. So, Roger, you're going to have a lot of questions to answer. Let's first start with American football in Jamaica. How has the response been? Has been great. Has been tremendous. Um, in fact, we have quite a number of youngsters who watch the sport, um, couldn't play the sport here because it wasn't here. Right. Got involved with rugby, and as soon as um, they hear about us, they start, start playing American football. When was the inception? When did you get started? We started in 2009, and we got incorporated in 2017. So okay. since then, we have been going into communities, going into school, doing development camps, developing the sports, on the island. Yeah, Kimani, when did you start playing? Because Marisut says that you did hurdles, um, 800 meters, so the switch. Uh, <laughs> I actually started playing in 2019, I believe. Right. Um, I also played basketball, so I was on my way to play basketball one evening, and one of the coaches saw me and said, hey, wouldn't you try this sport? And I was like, no. But then he said, come on, just five minutes. Yeah. And Fell four years love. later, I'm still here. <laughs> Yeah, so. and how is it being a national player here in Jamaica for this sport? Because, you know, Caribbean people were set in our way. That's a fact. And yeah. sometimes change can be good or bad, but a lot of us are very resistant. So do you feel like you get the same um, sort of attention and effort from those involved? And I'm speaking about, like, I'm thinking now sports ministers, you know, those in charge when it comes to your sport. Uh, I don't think we get the same level of attention, but I do believe that over the years that we've been around, we've been getting more and more recognition. Yeah. So it was a case when we just started, people weren't really accepting of the fact that, oh, American football is played here. But during the growth of the organization and the sport itself, we had more people come on board to say, hey, let us join this organization. Maybe this can turn into something great. Yeah, and Coach Cancun Bowl um, in August, What's the plan would you, do you hope to get out of these players? Well, we went last year, um, participated, and it's a part of just building the team, um, experiencing a new, um, other international teams competing against them. Yeah. So we're going back this year again to um, compete, to get to another level, mm -hmm. um, playing as we prepare ourselves much further. Yeah, Roger, where did your interest start in, in this? Because I, I can see that throughout the Caribbean, not only in Jamaica, the NFL and, and Super Bowl would have, over time, gained a lot of interest. And there are a lot more fans of American football now in the Caribbean than there, there would have been maybe 20 years ago. So where did it start, start for you? Let me start there. Well... Long story. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a, as a kid, I've been much younger growing up. I used to watch a game, fell in love with it, and um, wanted the opportunity to play, being a Jamaican. Yeah. Um, then, given at my age, I, I was saying that, boy, you know, given the skill set of, of our athletes here in Jamaica, this sport would be good on the island. And from that concept, you know, had a conversation with my other um, founder, and we just took off from there. Mm. So we um, basically started getting in the resources. In fact, we, we couldn't find anything like this in Jamaica. The ball. As in a ball? We couldn't find an American <laughs> football in Jamaica. Can you find it now? Well, yes. Well, <laughs> and I mean, one of, my, one of my directors, he has a sports tour, and he was just telling us the history of how he came by these balls because he wasn't, he's, he's not, isn't from Jamaica, so he ordered some footballs. Right, thinking it was American football, and, and these are what came. <laughs> so he had them on his shelf, not getting any sale or anything from that, because nobody in Jamaica buy these. Right. So when I went into his store and I asked him for football, he said, oh, soccer. I said, no, American football. So, so where, where do you do this? 
<laughs> so I told him. Now you find a supplier. And, and then <laughs> found a supplier and I found another coach, another person who love um, American football. And we just started from there, started growing, as I said before, going into communities. In fact, we started our first um, club league in 2013. Okay. And this came out of us going to different communities, introducing the sport of American flag football to them. And, and we started, started mm -hmm. here in 2013, like, and we have been soaring since. Like how they took Kimani away five minutes from his basketball, and Just. now he's not playing his basketball anymore. <laughs> he, he does a little, he does a little, but when he scores yeah. for football, he's, yeah. he's, he shows up. Yeah. So, so Kimani, which, which are your favorite NFL teams? And, um, and how much of that do you watch? Uh, so I recently started watching football. So when I took up flag football, I didn't watch any football at all. Because yeah. it was just like, oh, let me try this sport. Upon playing for about four months, I believe, I was like, no, this is something I actually love. Mm -hmm. So then I started watching football, and Patrick Mahomes was the talk of the NFL at the time. So you know, I gravitated towards him, even though I'm not a quarterback. Mm -hmm. But just seeing his play style, it was so impressive. And then seeing with the pairings of Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey, mm -hmm. I was like, maybe I can be a Tyreek Hill or a Travis Kelsey. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, I got in tune with it. Now I watch NFL like every day, all day, every day. YouTube, highlights, everything. All right. It, the, 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 the sport is called flag football here. Yes, it but is. this is the identical NFL game that you're talking about. Yeah, well, what we I, do... I asked that too because I just saw some um, footage there with the guys playing. I saw no helmets. And I know that in the NFL, they, they play with helmets. Helmets, right. Yes. Right. So, so what we do... Mm -hmm. Is flag you, football. you just gave me these, these here. What are right. these really? So that's a belt. Uh huh. And that is attached to the waist. Yes. And you should have two more pieces there. Yes. So you're going to plug that in. One end. Oh. So into the belt. Into the belt here, right? yeah. Okay. <coughs> and then you do the other. Yes. So I guess Kimani could fit, fit that all around his waist. Okay. Yeah, and just so it comes so, up. So it's for right. support. That's support. Well, now, so in flag football, yeah. <clears throat> the runner with the ball will has, have one of these on. Yes. So the person who is tackling will try and pull one of those flags oh. and just drop it to the ground. Now, in American football, yeah. that is played with the helmet and padding. Yes. When a player goes down the field with the ball, he's tackled, he's wrapped up yeah. with the arms, okay. hands, body. Yes. With flag football, it's non-contact. So instead of wrapping Kima, tackling Kimani and wrapping him, yeah. I just pull a flag. Yes. So wherever the flag is pulled and falls, yeah. that is where the ball is spotted for the next down, second down, third down. Got it. Until you get to the end zone. You know, oh. I feel I might have a career in this. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. It's, it's, it's non-contact. It's a safe mode of yes. playing the football. Yes. Um, well, that, would, that would, uh, that would, uh, that would yeah. um, appeal to Mariah because... No, she doesn't no. like the rough things. Yeah. Okay. So if it's non-contact, non if, if it's non-contact, I think she would like it. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. There's, there's still a bit of some contact, but it's not just not as yeah, as much. much. Kimani, yes. are you trying to discourage me in front of coach? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just setting the correct expectations. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. So how old are how old are you, Kimani? I'm 24. Okay. So how do you feel about the under 18s that will be going to the Dominican Republic, and and who coaches that team? All right, well. so I'm, I'm happy to hear that there's an, an under-18 team going away because yeah. we haven't had a lot of young guys who are interested in the sport. Yes. So now to hear that there are some guys who are under-18 stepping up to possibly fill our shoes and we step up, it's, you know, it's a great feeling to know that the sport is in good hands and they're coached by Coach Roger here. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't had much time with Coach Roger as my coach, but the few sessions I've had, I can see that the boys are in good hands. Yeah. There's a, a women's team traveling to Cancun as well, isn't there? Yes. That's what our report said. Yes, there is. So we, we're taking a male team, a female team this year. Mm -hmm. um, we have been to the U.S. in 2022, 23 as well for the International Women's Flag Football yes. Tournament. We, we went there twice, um, finished third twice. Mm -hmm. So we have other ladies who are part of the squad that they are going to Mexico this year again mm -hmm. um, to participate. Last year, mm -hmm. we had only the male team going to Mexico. So this year, we have both males and females. Yes. So when do you plan to invite Mariah for trials? <laughs> because she just, a couple of minutes ago, interest, showed some interest in, in playing this flag football. 
Great. And she's a naturalized Jamaican, I would think, because she's been here for five years. And I don't think Trinidad and Tobago has a flag football <laughs> team, do they? I uh, no. Not because that that's where she's from, but Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, guess what? We have we have a lot of space for you. My a coach. Lot of space. <laughs> okay, so that is it. Seeing that Lance wants me to try out, you know, in order for this to work, we need sponsors, right? Definitely. How is the sponsorship been Definitely. going? It's it's difficult. I mean, and I'm, as Kemani said, it's not a popular sport. So where that is concerned, many a times funding is difficult. Um, we have to try and convince, try and persuade. Um, many a times you'll hear that they're over budget so they can't, you know, help us. But we give God thanks for the couple of sponsors who have helped us over the years. And um, they continue to work with us. And we, we, we're in need of much more sponsors because as we broaden our scope, we have the male senior team, female senior team, we have the junior team. So it's a lot of work, it's a lot of finances. So, mm. you know, we are really imploring uh, businesses in Jamaica to yeah. really assist us. The footage we just saw, was that Excelsior High School? Yes, it was. It's an Excelsior. So right. they, are, they are part of your, of helping you at least to have a venue to, to, yes. to train? Yes, and I'm, I'm happy you, you, you brought that up. So Excelsior High School, um, over the years, mm -hmm. uh, from as early as 2011, has been partnering with us. We have done a lot of camps there. Um, we have held our high school leagues there. In fact, these, young, these youngsters who are going to um, Dominican Republic yes. are some of the top players from our high school league. So we started um, the national team with them last year and they're into this next phase of their program now. Yeah. And for our Caribbean viewers, Excelsior is a school that Chris Gale and mm -hmm. Courtney Walsh attended. So they can make Absolutely. a kind of a connection there with, with Excelsior. It's quite close to the National Stadium as well. A stone's throw away from the National Stadium. Definitely. You know, I, I, I like to hear when people are trying to open up doors, you right. know, because I think as a Caribbean people, we are naturally gifted to sports. Yeah. Our athletic ability just lends itself to us being strong in sports. That's and. True. Um, I, it's good to see the diversifying because, as you said, it's a new sport for, for the Caribbean. And I am I'm happy to hear that it's growing and you're having more interested participants. And Kimani, we wish you the best in Mexico. Thank and you. you'll be joined by the ladies as well. Coach Roger just mentioned that yeah. it was just a men's team that had gone first time. So let's hope that the teams, both of them, do, do well. And congratulations on the efforts that you've been making because it's Thank been years much. in trying to build something. And as Mariah just pointed out, if the sponsorship isn't overwhelming, right. it makes your job even more difficult. Very so good. Let's, Very let's wish you the best here and let us hope that by this segment that we're having here, it will pull more attention to your project and sure. hopefully you will get some success. We'll yes, definitely. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much, Roger, Kimani. Um, we'll be really following the competition when you all head to Mexico, so we expect some good results. Looking forward to it. Looking, <laughs> all right. forward, looking forward to coming back. And we'll definitely deliver. Yeah, thank you so much, of course, for stopping by on the Sports Max Zone. Of course, you know, exciting times for Jamaica when it comes to football, and I'm talking about American football. Well, as we go to the break, a reminder that it's only two days until the start of the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Remember, you have to download the Sportsmax app in order to watch the games. Break time.